2023 has finally been concluded and it so far has been the best year for MLBB. We are lucky enough to witness so much creativity and love being poured into the game by Moontoon. But like everyone, Moontoon does make mistakes. So what did Moontoon get right and what did they not get right in terms of skins? Well, I'm here to tell you. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video, I'm going to showcase the top 10 best and worst skins that were released. So let's just get straight into it. Let's start with the best skins of this year. Neo Beast Skin Cyril First, let's start with Lilia. The reason Lilia is here is because of her hero model and her 1-2 combo. When playing Lilia, what we can use throughout the game is her 1-2 combo, since this combo looks so sweet. Let's move on to Fredrin. This is another skin with such good skill effects that I just can't ignore it. His ultimate just looks so good with its neon flashes. The tigers on skill 3 and 4 are the cherry on top. Next up are all the skins from Atomic Pop series. This skin dropped out of nowhere and shocked everyone. The best part of these skins was that they were not that expensive too. The skills from the intro to the theme songs all are beautiful. Let's check out Mia's skin. Mia's skin is so good, it was only out for 599 diamonds, which was a steal, if you ask me. This skin brings so much into the game, it has a great music whenever she uses her skill. And her skills look flashy and eye-catching, which is a great for a skin theme behind a music star. Now let's check out the Ducati skin series. A collaboration with Ducati, I don't think anyone had imagined such a collab. But Moontoon somehow did it. Let's check Irithil's skin. To be honest, this skin is one of the contenders for being the best skins of this year. And that says a lot. This must be the most unique skin in the game. Everything from the intro to the skill effects is just too good. And she rides an actual Ducati bike. This skin was just too expensive or else it would be my favorite. Next, we have the classic Lunox's Legend skin. Mandala blossoms from the withered Kikyo. This skin is too good not to include here on the list. What do you need from a good Legend skin? You need a good Mandala intro, check. From the withered Kikyo. You need a good skill effects, check. You need a good theme song. Check. This is a perfect representation of what a legend skin should be. I am sure no one will disagree with this. Next up is the new collector skin of Exana, the Sun Empress. You saw the intro, right? Do I have to say more? This skin for Exana is a must buy for all the hardcore Exana mints. All the skill effects for this skin are just crazy, especially the second skill and ultimate. I mean, there is no way someone could hit this skin. Now let's move on to another collector skin, Dairoth Naraka Flame. I am not going to say much about why this skin is so good, I will let the skill effects and hero model talk. After seeing this beautiful skin, how can it not be on this list? Last but not least, we have the Mist Vendor skin. Probably one of the best skins to ever be released, at least in my opinion. This skin just had a great amount of detail on it. Let's go in and look at them individually. 
first we have all those mist benders. This skin is 10 out of 10 if we just look at the skill effects. Everything from skill 1 to the ultimate has great skill effects. There is also this special detail where if you have more than 200 stakes, your skill 1's effect is upgraded. Now let's go to Nana's Mist Bender. This skin also is extremely cool. Her skill effects are out of this world. From Molina to her ultimate, the inclusion of Kirin is just wonderful. Let's end this list with one of the best Zodiacs to be ever released, Mardis. People were scared that Mardis Zodiac would be a flop like others, but Moontoon delivered. Everything from the skill effects to the hero model is 10 out of 10. I think it might be better than the limited epic. Now let's move on to the worst skins that were released this year. Visuals are subjective, sometimes you find something good and I may not. So if you disagree with any skin here, the comment section is all yours. Let's start with a controversial pick. I'm picking Ruby's collector skin. Why? To be honest, this skin doesn't feel that good compared to what Ruby herself has. The only two things that I like about her skin are her intro and her theme song. This skin feels more like an epic skin if you look at its skill effects. To be honest, at least for me, this is one of the most underwhelming skins of this year. Do you disagree? If so, then comment down below. The next skins are from JJK series. The only two skins that I liked from this series are Gojo and Megumi. Nobara was mid and Yuji was just plain disappointing, so let's look into Yuji a bit more. Let's move on to Yuji. They could have done so much with this skin, but they didn't. Yin was perfect for Yuji. They could have converted all the Yuji's curse techniques into skills, but they chose not to do it. His ultimate is just underwhelming to use. When a Starlight skin has a better domain than a really expensive skin. I can go into so many details, but let's move on. Next, we have Akai's Halloween skin. Now Akai enters the scene. After seeing all his skill effects and hero model, I can say this. Akai has the worst Halloween skin you can see for yourself. It just has some pumpkin effects and has an orange ultimate. The only thing I like about this skin is its hero model. But come on, who doesn't love Akai's hero models? Let's check out the revamped Erythel Joriak. I'm pretty sure everyone was disappointing with the new revamped Joriak of Erythel. The intro we all can agree is pretty good and the hero model is also pretty good. But the skill effects, man, the old one was so much better. The old one had so much more of a galaxy theme in it, but the new ones just don't have the opacity that they are supposed to have. I know this is kind of debatable, but I just prefer the old one. The galaxy theme was perfect. Next, we have the painted skin of Minsitar Starlight. I know it is a painted skin, but it is the color for me that looks off. I might be nitpicking here, but it is a skin that is just not for me. Up next, we have one of the latest release in Mobile Legends, Valentina Collector. Don't get me wrong, the intro, the voice lines, the hero models are all great, but the skill effects are really underwhelming, to be honest. Again, if you really want to buy this skin, you can still buy it. Just know that Valentina will never have a really great skin because her skills are just not like that. So we can't really blame Moontoon. 
But if you're looking for a good skin for Valentina, you can go with her Starlight, though you might not be getting it soon. Next, we have another Zodiac, which would be the revamped Aurora. Zodiac really disappointed a lot of people this year, didn't it? The intro is good and the model is okay, but the skill effects are just underwhelming. They had so much potential with this skin, but they threw it out the window. I would have also included Audit's Virgo on this list, but Moonton got so much hate from the community that they are optimizing the skill effects for this skin. Let's see how good that skin is going to be. Next, we have Clint Collector. If this list was all time, Clint wouldn't be here. But with the amount of good collector skins this year, collector skins like Ruby, Valentina and Clint will just feel underwhelming. Don't get me wrong, I do think the skill to immobilize looks sick. But other than that, the skin doesn't have that much going for it, to be honest. Up next for the video will be Florine's Elite skin. I mean, I know it's an elite skin, but it is too underwhelming in the skill effects department. The hero model is great, but her ultimate is just green. And that's it, which is just disappointing. There's so much that they can do with her ultimate, even if it's an elite skin. Just some touches would make the skin good. The last and final skin for this video will be Saber's Starlight. The second Starlight skin for Saber was just bad, to be honest. Other than that, the lovely intro and great hero model, this skin just lagged behind in every single category. This skin would, would have been great if the effects were more visible. So I do really think this skin deserves to stay here. So guys, how much of the list do you agree with? Which skin would you like to add for the best? And which skin would you like to add for the worst? Which skin do you think desperately needs a revamp? Comment down all your answers below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.